guys, how's it going? So I'm currently standing in our plant room, which is in our house, for what I hope is the very last time I'm actually filming in this space. The goal for today is to get all of our grow light systems, all of our plants, all of our supplies out of this room and into the new studio in the barn. Now I will give you a little tour of the studio once we get some stuff out there. It's still not quite done because we made a last minute decision to have some flooring installed and I'll explain all of that once we're out there. Um, but I just really wanted to get this transition for the most part as completed as possible because I mean one I'm excited to get out there and start utilizing the space it's gonna be so nice to not be in a carpeted area where I'm, when I'm working with soil and then also we are in like countdown mode for baby girl to arrive it could happen at any point we're under a month away from my due date and I just really wanted everything to be moved set up and ready to go once seed starting time rolls around. So a quick look at the plant room space before we start dismantling I've given you tours before it's pretty basic um, it's a spare bedroom. It's on our second story, so it's not ideal. It's a little hard to water. You can see my uh, hose there. What I do is I flop that hose out the window and it goes down two stories, connects to a faucet, and that's how I water, and then I have to draw the hose back up. And there is carpet, which I've done a fair job keeping clean-ish. I mean, you can see a few little stains. I, I actually don't think those are stains. I think that I can vacuum that up. That's a stain. Anyway, we will probably address new flooring in here once everything's out. But I just am so excited to reclaim this space as a guest bedroom. This isn't gonna be baby's room, but it'll be a beautiful guest bedroom, I think. So we've got a lot of stuff to move today. Um, I am planning on going through each and every plant. I will be keeping a few, but I'm gonna be giving a lot away and probably tossing some as well. Anything that I've been struggling really hard, like with mealybugs or whatever, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna start fresh out in the new studio. And I do have some help here today. So I'll have help hauling these light systems up and down the stairs and out to the studio. So I'm gonna try to take advantage of that as much as possible. All right, so I really just need to get started. I brought some boxes up here. Um, I'm just gonna start going one light system at a time. And I don't know, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope it goes a lot quicker than I think it's gonna go. I also have in this closet um, There's another shelving unit full of just containers uh, Seed trays right here. These have all been sterilized. They're all ready to roll But I want all of this kind of stuff all of it. There's moss down here I want it all out in the barn. So it's all in one location. I can't wait. Okay, so before I start in with the work up here I think we'll run out to the studio and I'll give you a look at what's going on out there. Okay, so here's the studio space as it stands at the moment. I can't even believe that this is in our barn right now. It's crazy. It's so nice looking. Um, so the kind of brownish liquidy looking stuff that's coming out from underneath the flooring, that's the self-leveling liquid that was put in. It just dipped so much um, that we were afraid we couldn't like set anything level. And we do a lot with tables and grow lights and those really do need to be level. So they have the flooring done, of course, from here to here. Um, they're gonna come back and finish this probably in the next evening or two. It's also very echoey in here. We have some sound panels that we've been putting together. I just need to cover them in fabric and we're going to attach those to walls and ceilings on one side. And then we're going to order some rugs and things like that and hang some fabric to kind of absorb some of that echo. Uh, but I'm just so thrilled. I just, I'm glad we decided to go with flooring in here instead of just leaving it concrete. And then on this wall over here where they started the flooring, they are going to put a little piece of molding kind of where those spacers are, you know, down here, just to cover up any gapping. But then all the grow lights are gonna kind of go in between. See how we have a uh, outlet in between each window? Um, this is the side where all the grow lights are gonna go because we are most likely when we film, we'll be filming toward this wall or this wall here. Who knows though? I mean, this is just our thoughts at the moment. Everything kind of changes once you start using the space. We also went with kind of a lighter floor option because like my natural inclination is to go dark, always. Dark wood, dark paint colors, but that was the problem filming inside for us. Everything was so dark and so orange. When you do brown flooring of any kind, it either wants to make things look orange or red. Um, and we really needed a space that was light and bright. So we went with kind of this like washed, or bleached wood kind of look, and this is just laminate. Um, but I think it's gonna be, I think it was a good choice, and I like it. So this is what it is right here. Life proof, uh, what color? Can't remember what it's actually called here. It's the color Sterling Oak. 
So I imagine in the end of today, it's not gonna look like super put together in here because I'm gonna put the grow lights in, but I'm not going to snug them up against the walls just because I need to let, allow them access to put that piece of molding in. But just to get everything out here will be really nice. And it is toasty. That thing's rocking right now. It's nice and warm in here. And just to give you an idea of the other end, there's the garage door, which I'm so excited to have because we can still get our gator in here or like large garden carts if we're doing larger projects and we don't have to try to navigate smaller doorways. <sighs> so happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna head back up to the plant room and I'm gonna get to work. Benjamin, are you helping me clean? Yeah, you doing some vacuuming? Thanks, bud. You cleaning up the dirt? Yeah. Is mama making a big mess? Yeah. yeah. Good thing you're here. Yeah, and I hear sirens last night. You heard sirens last night, really? Yeah, I did. What do they sound like? Do they? Yeah. And they're really loud, huh? Can you even believe this is the same space? Took about three hours. We got everything, pretty much everything moved out of here. You can see this little grouping of plants is going to a friend's house this evening. So those will be gone. And then uh, the little pile of seeds I'm gonna be taking out to the barn, to the studio as well. And I did leave one of Aaron's lights up because it does help brighten it up, but he will come and take that down as well so that we will be left with zero items in this room. So I did kind of a cursory clean. I just cleaned the, you know, the moldings around the windows and the moldings on the floor. Um, but I need to clean windows and all of that kind of thing. And then we can start thinking about what we want to do in terms of paint and flooring in this space. That's always exciting. And I'm so glad we had help today because there's no way I could have gotten all of that moved in three hours. It would have been a couple day project for me. So now we're gonna head out to the barn and start setting up just the light systems. Uh, in the studio space and I did save a handful of plants so I think it's enough to maybe fill up one system uh, at this time. Anyway, let's head out. What do you think, bud? It's good. Is it good? I was kind of hoping these light systems would fit between the windows. I mean, they barely do. Oh well. Let's not plug that in, sweetheart. Yeah. Yeah. We're not ready quite yet. Oh, Aaron's got his director's chair. What are you to do with that right now? I'm gonna direct. Are you? Heck yeah. Benjamin, do you wanna sit in the chair? That's dirty. You need to put that out in the driveway and blow it off. So I need to go hose off a few of the trays for one of these light systems. These are the plants right here that I have left that I thought I might keep. Um, we'll see, I've got a box of cuttings as well, which I'll come back through and repot those later. Um, but the trays were so gross. I tried to clean a couple with just paper towels and my cleaner and it just, it wasn't cutting it. So I just need to spray them down and then bring them in. So let's go do that first. this out hopefully this isn't frozen oh. 
Good job. And here's the first lighting system full of plants. And they're all really clean and healthy, no insect issues that I could see. They're all just really nice looking plants. And we've got two more light systems, which I still need to clean the trays, and I'll do that later because we are losing a little bit of light outside. And then we've got the bamboo LED grow light garden, which is a three tier kind of system as well. And we'll either put it here or we might swing it over here so we don't block the door or neck it down too much right there. And then these are the cuttings that I ended up with. So some of the plants I just kind of dismantled a little bit. They're still great plants, but they were really long and they just needed to be um, cut back like this. And we'll go ahead and pop those up probably in a couple of days. We'll let them just sit here and have a chance for those cut ends to heal because some of them are pretty like big and still have a lot of moisture. But there's some nice ones here like this Echeveria and the Haworthia. I mean, this is gorgeous right here beautiful structure and then the blue elf aloes which i've had forever uh, but they were just getting a little bit lanky uh some other aloes there graptopetalum is that what that is i love this one and then there were some cacti and other things that i left the roots on that were just part of other arrangements that i pulled out um, and decided i'd just repot them but in terms of how they fit i'm super happy um, you know, they're on wheels so we can move them around if they're in the way at all. Um, the LED grow light garden, I think you can put that one on wheels. I don't have wheels for it though yet. Um, so we'll have to find a place where that one works really well. Let me give you a quick look at the shelves here. You can see I've got a string of dolphins here. Just some random, random things. Lots of different little ones. I always like to have a few on hand for projects. And then a lot of these my mangaves and agaves and cacti I've had for a lot of years. Um, so I do like to save some of those kinds of things over. I mean, I don't get sentimentally attached to my plants usually, but some of them, you know, that I potted up like at our old townhouse, they're special and they're really nice looking. And kind of a look from the door right here. I don't plan on putting anything else in terms of plant supplies in here. There will be no soil. No moss, no top dress, just the grow light systems. And the rest of the systems will be full of seed starting stuff when that time comes around. And that is it for today's video. I'm super happy to have most of the transition done out of that plant room. I've got a few little things left in that closet, some containers and such, but I wanted to get everything out of the main part of the room out and in the barn. I still have to organize everything else that came out off of those shelves and plus the shelves themselves. There were some standalones that had, um, they weren't grow light systems, they were just shelving units that had pots and supplies on them. So I need to organize those first before I bring the other stuff out, but then we can start doing another project in that spare bedroom, which I'm really excited for. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, kind of the first step to setting up our studio space. Next step is taking care of the echo in here. So we'll probably do just a series of videos as we set the space up and do more things to it, just to show you guys the infrastructure and how we're making it work. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.